It's famous for theme parks and beaches, but according to the NAACP, Florida is hostile to African Americans, people of color, and LGBTQ plus communities. The group points the finger at Governor Ron DeSantis in an unusual travel advisory, warning. Before traveling to Florida, please understand that the state of Florida devalues and marginalizes the contributions of and challenges faced by African Americans and other minorities. That warning in reaction to the governor's contentious legislative agenda, barring a new course on African American studies, limiting sexual orientation education for young students, and cracking down on illegal immigration. In recent weeks, Equality Florida, a gay rights advocacy group, and LULAC, an organization representing Latin American citizens, have issued a similar advisory. It's really um, supremely disappointing that a governor of the United States, a governor of a state like Florida, would just be spitting in the face of the Statue of Liberty. So far, no comment from DeSantis, but the governor has been very vocal about what he calls policies that secure the border, empower parents, and prevent indoctrination. Florida resident Brenda Torres says DeSantis's policies have had harmful consequences. A pride gathering she was organizing had to be canceled because of a death threat. People wonder if they're safe and if they can um, enjoy time with their family in a safe space. Tourism is one of the biggest industries in Florida. Last year, the state's tourism agency estimated more than 130 million visitors. The fact of the matter is I think it's going to be devastating for the Florida economy because you have a politician who wants to be president and doesn't care how many bodies he crawls over to get there. Next week, DeSantis is expected to announce he's running for president. Chris Reyes, CBC News, New York.